In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Before God, we are confident of this through Christ. Not that we are qualified in ourselves to claim anything as our own work. All our qualifications come from God. He is the one who has given us the qualifications to be the administrators of this new covenant, which is not a covenant of written letters, but of the Spirit. The written letters bring death, but the Spirit gives life. Now, if the administering of death in the written letters engraved on stones was accompanied by such a brightness that the Israelites could not bear looking at the face of Moses. Though it was a brightness that faded, then how much greater will be the brightness that surrounds the administering of the Spirit? For if there was any splendor in administering condemnation, there must be very much greater splendor in administering justification. In fact, compared with this greater splendor, the thing that used to have such splendor now seems to have none. And if what was so temporary had any splendor, there must be much more in what is going to last forever. This is the word of the Lord. You are holy, O Lord our God. Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before Zion, his footstool. He is the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoke his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of Clyde. They did his will. They kept the law which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punished all their offenses. 
Exalt the Lord our God. Bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Gospel acclamation. Alleluia. 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 Make me grasp the way of your precepts, and I will muse on your wonders. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to complete. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, a man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments, that man, and teaches them to others to do the same, will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them, teaches them, and considers, will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Please kneel. Mother of perpetual help, with the greatest cons, we come before your shrine to be inspired by the example of your life. We think of you at that moment when, full of faith and trust, you accepted God's call to be the mother of his son. Help us, your children, to accept with joy our own calling in life. When you learned that your cousin Elizabeth was in need, you immediately went to serve her and offer your help. Help us, like you, to be concerned with others. We think of you, Mother, at the foot of the cross. Your heart must have bled to see your son in agony. But your joy was great when he rose from the dead, victorious over the powers of evil. Mother of sorrows, help us to realize that we must expect trials and disappointments. Help us not to lose heart. May we share with you and your son the joy of having courageously faced up to all the challenges of life. Amen. Lord God, it is your will that we come together today to honor Mary as a mother ever ready to help us. May we implore her motherly help and benefit by the great gift of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our thanksgiving prayer. O Mother of perpetual help, with grateful hearts we join you in thanking God for all the wonderful things he has done for us. O God, our Creator, we thank you for the gift of life and all the gifts of nature, our senses, our faculties, our talents and abilities. We thank you for creating us in your image and likeness and for giving us this earth to use and to develop, to respect and to cherish. Despite our failures, you continue to show your love for us today by increasing the life of your spirit in us at this Eucharistic table. Finally, we thank you, loving Father, for giving us Mary, the mother of your Son, 
to be our mother of perpetual help. We are grateful for all the favours we have received through her intercession, and we pray that those past favours may inspire us with greater confidence in your loving mercy and to seek the aid of our mother of perpetual help. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look kindly upon our service. O Lord, we pray that what we offer may be acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself by the blood of his cross, brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and all who obey him have become the source of eternal salvation. And so, with the angels and thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the 
blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Noel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we merit to be coerced to eternal life and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God.